everyone to Rejoice TV. We really, really want you to know God loves you and we've got a good thing going in Christ Jesus. Well, in continuation of what we had last week, we're talking about the honor principle, the honor code. Show me your honor. And I want you to know that God is faithful. And there are five areas of honor. I mean, five areas where we can show, show honor. The first is the most important. We're talking about God, the most almighty God. The second is honoring the parents, your parents. And that one comes with a blessing. The third one is how you honor the men of God, the prophetic men, the prophets, the people that God has sent it to you to give you the word of God. How you honor them. In the olden days, they honor their priests and did things for the men of God that you know. Because a man is with, is not without honor, in such and so. And the fourth thing is our honor for our parents. I mean, did I say that already? Parents, honor your parents. They will for you. For those who say have their parents alive, make sure you honor them. And the fifth one is the relationship spouse. between us. Your spouse, yeah, that's the <laughs> honor your spouse. I think we forget that one too, that they need to be we need to honor one another. Honor your spouses, the ones you are, you know, affectionately uh, and love, yeah. loving. And then the last one would be that you honor one another. And because honor begets honor. Whatever I honor, respect will be given back to me. So going to that, um, is there anything you'd like to add to that? Or is there something else you're coming into? Now we know the people, the five categories of areas where we can honor. Now, how do we and what do we do? You know? Okay, how, how do we honor? How do we honor? How do we honor? We honor... Uh, and I think there are three couple of things that come into play when you want to honor. Yeah. One, by your priorities. Mm, that's right. By your priorities, your mm. honor. When you prioritize, it shows that I honor. You could have, you know, many things, but when you begin to put some things first, mm. and guess what? Our relationship with God is going to be prioritized. It's mm. going to be first. Nice. God wants to be number one in our number lives. One. He doesn't want to take second place. He's a jealous God. You know, and so when we prioritize on the first day of the week, mm -hmm. he wants us to be in his house mm -hmm. and to be observing the Sabbath. Mm -hmm. He says that's part of honor. He says honor the Lord and you know, on the day of the Sabbath. Mm -hmm. You know, and quit it. So prioritization is one way mm -hmm. we honor. Mm -hmm. And then the second way we honor is also through our generosity. Yes. Mm -hmm. Give us more of that. <laughs> The Bible says, honor the Lord, in Proverbs chapter 3, verse 9, say, honor the Lord with your substance mm. and with the first fruits of all your increase. Mm. It says, as you begin to increase, let, let God's, uh, uh, when you honor, let God, let it be that you can honor the Lord as you are increasing. Mm. See, there has to be weight you know, that, that factors in terms of generosity when you're factoring, when you're giving. Any, anything, you're, anybody you're giving, thinks so. You know, you, you show, it shows in the worth. If you, if you want to give somebody a token, to show a token of your love, this, you don't just give them something not worthwhile. You should, something tangible, something good. And it shows that, oh, this is how much we appreciate you. And God is saying, if you're appreciating me, honor me with your substance. But then look at the next verse. Mm -hmm. And with the first fruits. Mm -hmm. Of your increase. First. <laughs> first fruits. Mm -hmm. The first one that comes out. Mm -hmm. First fruits is different from tithes. Mm -hmm. Tithe is 10%. First fruits <laughs> is the entire 100%. 100%. <laughs> of all the first of your income. Mm -hmm. It doesn't get preached enough in churches. Mm -hmm. If you had a if you want to give a first fruits. The first salary you get, the entire one becomes your first fruits. That's, right. That's part of hushing honor. It means, God, yeah, this heavy man, I'm going to give you the entire paycheck. Because I know more. Because so, I know I'll have subsequent paychecks. How so, do you? So pay? through priorities and through our generosity, we do show honor. Amen. Yeah. And um, you said ways we show honor through our priorities, through appreciation through acknowledgement and also 
to being, you know, conscious. Yeah. Let me talk about appreciation. Mm -hmm. Thank you. <laughs> it's, it's, it's a horrible thing to do. Saying thank you. Mm. I, I, I want to tell the younger generation, teach them in your house to say thank you. Mm. When people do things, they, or people come to see you or attend your event, call them back and say, oh, thank you for coming. Oh, somebody's birthday. Mm. Somebody calls you. Thank you. You know, when when you have people like that, you begin to express thanks. Mm. It means you are honorable. Mm. But when you don't acknowledge or appreciate, mm. <laughs> it's like you know Jesus Christ said when he was talking to the mm. the ten lepers. He says, "Where are the nine? Mm. He says, "Is there no one that returned to give mm. thanks?" Mm. So that's another A you can add the appreciation. Yeah. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you so much, um, Pastor, for sharing that with us. It's so important to honor, and may the Lord God teach us to honor one another in every way, and most especially teach us to honor God, teach us to honor our parents, the men of God in our lives, and do it with a passion. You know, sometimes we honor, we say we honor, but we don't really honor. May the Lord teach us and give us wisdom. Thank you. Look forward to seeing you again next week. Great, great, blessed, wonderful, thank you.